What to include in your budget? Hi, it's Luigi and welcome to Catapult Capitalism, your guide in making smart financial moves for your future. If you enjoy watching our videos, feel free to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you get updated whenever we upload a new video. In today's video, we'll go through the many components to include in a budget as well as how to calculate your personal budget. It may take some time to develop a budget that works for you, but having one is an important element of saving money and reaching financial freedom. Congratulations on creating a budget! For many individuals, having more money significantly increases their freedom, and budgeting is a terrific approach to give yourself as much financial freedom in the future as possible, while also improving your current financial condition. Your income, savings, debt payments, and general costs should all be included in your budget. You must account for all of your revenue sources when calculating your overall income. There are several methods to supplement your main source of income, such as investing or starting a side business. A solid salary or source of income is necessary to meet all of your living expenditures, but it is not always sufficient. In such a situation, you'll need to either decrease your expenditures or find a means to create extra money through new sources of revenue. How you compute your overall income is determined by whether you are paid hourly, daily, weekly, or monthly. If you're paid by the hour, multiply your hourly rate by 2000. If you're paid on a daily basis, multiply your daily rate by 200. If you're paid on a weekly basis, multiply your weekly rate by 50. If you're paid on a monthly basis, multiply your monthly rate by 12. If you have many sources of income, you must add them all up to calculate your total income. Phew. Budgeting may seem hard, but don't lose hope. Once done properly, you'll soon experience the financial freedom you've been dreaming of. Savings can encompass both short-term and long-term goals such as saving for a down payment, purchasing a new automobile, traveling, and other activities. You should also consider incorporating emergency savings. You can never be too prepared. It's never too early to start saving for retirement, no matter how old you are when you prepare your first budget. Saving for retirement early means you'll be able to construct and plan the future you desire, as well as live comfortably when you're older. Aside from budgeting, another effective strategy to save for retirement is to begin investing. The amount you spend on investments may vary depending on your circumstances, so do some research before you begin. The ultimate aim is to be debt-free, but the only way to get there is to account for your debt in your budget. This can be credit card debt, medical bill debt, education debt, or debt for a variety of different reasons. Pay off your minor obligations first, then go on to larger debts. Although the items to include in a budget will change for each person due to many variables that influence their spending, it is still useful to have a broad sense of what to include in a budget. The majority of your budget's expenses should fall into three broad categories. Necessities. These are important costs you cannot live without, such as rent and groceries. Savings. This includes your own savings account, 401k, and other investments. Your savings are funds you intend to set aside each month. One of the purposes of budgeting is to dedicate more money to savings, so avoid using your emergency funds until absolutely essential. Discretionary spending Discretionary spending refers to non-essential purchases that you can make if you have money left over. This covers costs such as recreation and entertainment. Keep in mind that if your income does not meet your costs, you may need to reduce your spending to match your budget. Now you've probably practiced budgeting for groceries, rent, and other housing costs using budgeting formulas such as the 50-20-30 budgeting rule, which splits your finances into three main categories. Essentials, 50% of your income, savings, 20% of your income, and wants, 30% of your income. However, if you use a more complex method such as an online budget calculator, you'll find there are lots of additional little budget elements that are all too easy to overlook. 
You may also attempt envelope budgeting, which is a money management approach that involves putting your cash in real envelopes to keep track of how much money you have. Another smart approach to saving money is to participate in the 52-week money challenge, which starts with saving $1 in the first week and then increases by a dollar each week until you save $52 by week 52. By the end of it, you should have saved a total of $1,378 by playing along with this money challenge. The last thing you want is to have a budget deficit. A budget deficit occurs when your expenditures exceed your revenue, which can lead to significant debt. However, this can definitely be avoided by understanding how to budget properly. Budgeting can assist you in saving money and prevent you from overspending. It's also critical to have enough money in your bank account to avoid penalties and guarantee you're in good financial standing. Here are some common things to include in a budget. Rent Your rent or mortgage payment is the first and most important fixed item to consider. Not to mention that your mortgage payment will most likely include your property taxes and home insurance, in addition to the loan's principal and interest. You probably already know this, but your rent expenditure is the amount of money you spend on rent each month. It's such a large thing that it can be easy to overlook. Make sure that you set aside a percentage of your monthly income for rent and other living expenditures. Another item you might include in this portion of your budget is saving for a down payment on a property. Food and groceries. If you don't plan ahead of time, food may add up quickly. If you've recently moved out and started a new job, you may get obsessed with trying new places and ordering appetizers, dinner, and drinks on a regular basis. Don't succumb to this temptation. Instead, include food prices in your budget and put aside a predetermined amount for dining out. Having a plan to follow for how much you're gonna spend on food each month could save you money in the long run. It's critical to determine your shopping budget at the start of each month to avoid overspending. Using a meal prep service can also help you save money and cut down on the number of times you dine out. Daily Incidentals You may not appear to be spending much money on your daily latte from your favorite cafe or that drink you get every time you get off work. However, these expenses may quickly pile up over the course of a year. You should try to add up all these charges and budget for them. Household Maintenance Household upkeep is an unavoidable cost of living. If you employ cleaners to clean your apartment once a month or drive your car to the car wash, make sure to budget for these expenses. Household cleaners, appliance repairs or replacements, and furniture cleaning may all be costly. So keep this in mind while budgeting. Work, wardrobe, and upkeep. Is it required that you wear a suit and excellent shoes to work? Then budget for the expense of replacing these things when they wear out, as well as dry cleaning and shoe repair. If you want to keep generating a good living, you may need to invest in a smart work wardrobe. Prescriptions and medicine. It's tough to forecast prescription expenditures since you never know when an illness may strike. But you should budget for the over-the-counter treatments. Tylenol, Advil, Tums, and Claritin are examples of common low-cost medications. Alright, some of these budget items might not apply to you. But you might find a couple things in there that a lot of people overlook when budgeting. So make sure you take notes and good luck. And that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification icon so you can be notified whenever we upload new videos. Thank you so much for tuning in to Catapult Capitalism, and we'll see you later.